Hey, so what's going on guys? Make here with Drive Reviews and welcome back to another video. So another year, another iPhone and we have to do first party accessories just like I did with the 12 Pro Max. So right here we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max leather case in midnight. So midnight is not actually black. Many people thought it's black but it's actually a very very dark shade of blue. It's like super dark navy blue. So I'll also be comparing the shade of this color with my iPhone 11 Pro Max black leather case so you can get a rough idea on how this color looks in person so a big thanks to terry for actually lending me his iphone 13 pro max leather case uh, so that i can show you guys how this case looks like uh, especially in this color because i was originally thinking of purchasing one of these but then i didn't think i'll be using this as a daily case so yeah i met him and uh he said oh you just take it over and you know just do your thing and by the way right after this video this case is actually for sale on carousel for malaysian buyers so if you're interested, I will leave the link in the description below so you can check this case out and make the purchase. Alright, so before we begin the video, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And let's get on with the unboxing and review of the iPhone 13 Pro Max Leather Case in Midnight. Alright guys, so let's quickly get through the unboxing. There are already tons of other reviewers who have done the unboxings of this case. But anyway, this is my take on the official Apple leather case. Alright, so this case doesn't come in cheap. You can see the price right here. It is priced at 269 ringgit, And at that price, you can get a lot of cases with better protection for your iPhone. And I can't recommend this case enough. The Pitaka Mac Easy Pro case, which I reviewed the previous video. So you can actually check that video out. I'll leave it in the description below. This case is a much better case overall. I've been using this case as my daily case. You can actually see the oil marks already. And then let's get back into the iPhone 13 Pro Max leather case. You can see the shade of uh, blue on the top. You can see how the case looks like basically the iPhone 13 Pro Max leather case with MagSafe. All right, let's slide it out of the sleeve. All right, so the case right on top, let me remove it. And you got instructions on how to install the phone in the case, basically the same as all the other cases, go in volume button side first. So that's the general principle. What else do we have? We have some uh, documentation right here, which we won't be reading. All right, let's get into the case itself. All right, so for color comparison, let me bring in my iPhone 11 Pro Max leather case you can see this is actually black and this is the midnight color so the midnight color is a uh, very very dark navy blue it looks more blue if you compare it with the black apple leather case but anyways you can see right here so this is how it's gonna look like I think this will look very nice with the Sierra blue iPhone which I have right here all right let's take a look at the case itself let me show you there's apple logo embossed right here you can see very nice and premium leather they're using on this of course at the price you expect that and of course being a first party case you can see cutouts are spot on everything is spot on and you can see right here the camera cutout and how the plastic ring joins with the leather seamless and i think they have done a better job compared with the 12 pro max version of the leather case that one uh, i wasn't so keen on the way they design the camera cutout but this is uh, really really nice and you can see right here power button and this is a very nice aluminium button so the buttons are super tactile is the best um, first party case in fact i think the leather cases if you want a first party case yes go for the leather case hands down okay on the left side you can see cutout yeah cutouts are pretty small but this is a cutout for the mute and ring toggle as well as two more metallic buttons aluminum buttons for the volume up and down so that's about it and on the inside you can see right here i'm not sure whether you can see in this light you can see the magsafe magnet right here of course official apple product it's a very dark shade so i'm not sure whether the camera is actually picking that up give you a closer look in the light you can see magsafe magnet inside here but of course with this case your phone is going to be sitting in super plush microfiber material so that's a plus point but i think a very close material is this microfiber material of course but i think the apple one is slightly more premium ever so slightly and i think it's uh, it feels good of course you're not gonna be touching it the phone is gonna be touching it so it doesn't really matter i think both do a great job all right so let's fit the phone into the case just like how apple intended us to do volume button side in first and then everything just snaps you can see the animation 
get that only with the official Apple leather cases. So, I think that is a is a marketing gimmick. But anyways, uh, if you do like that, then yes, get the first party case. But personal preference. So cutouts are very very spot on. Of course, think first party case. And you can see I do have a lens protector right here. These are pretty large lens protectors, but you can see it fits with this case. No issue right there. Let's take a look at the cutouts on the bottom. Spot on. Buttons. Super tactile. Of course, the volume up and down. Let's take a look at the you know, ring toggle. Adequate cutout. And of course, being a first party case, it is cut to perfection. You can still see a little of the the stainless steel frame of course yeah if you have used apple leather cases before yes that is the, definitely the case so this will be more prominent if you are using like a gold or a silver iphone you will be able to see more of the frame of the device but if you have a darker shade like this sierra blue or even the black you know you won't be able to see that much so overall this case is definitely premium feels premium of course you expect it to work with MagSafe, I do not have to show you guys, I do not have my MagSafe charger with me right now. But um, yes, it definitely works with MagSafe and it works with all third party and first party MagSafe accessories. So in conclusion, do I recommend the official leather case? If you are a diehard fan of Apple official cases, then yes, spend the premium amount and get the official leather case. But if you're looking for general day-to-day -day use and protection, I believe the Pitacom Mac Easy Pro case is definitely the way to go because I've used this on a daily and this case has never failed me and the magnets are strong, everything is good just like the official Apple leather case, Apple cases, MagSafe cases and this is only around 20 or 30 ringgit more. So if you're prepared to pay 269 ringgit, what's another 20 ringgit? I think that should uh, really affect your purchase decision because Another 20 ringgit, but gets you like military standard drop protection, gets you the MagSafe magnet, gets you real aramid carbon fiber, gets you the microfiber lining on the inside. I think the Pitaka case is a no brainer. But, anyways, we are here to definitely talk about the leather case. And in my opinion, I believe that uh, this case will definitely have its own set of customers. I was one of them uh, before I actually tested out the Mac Easy Pro case. Um, if you like, leather and you do want to match your apparel and i think this is definitely more classy in terms of class wise uh, i will pick the apple leather case over the pitaka mac easy case so yeah it's personal preference and some people like me we do like to have a couple of cases for different occasions and if i'm going to a fancy dinner party i'm going to a, like a meeting or something definitely i will go with the leather case because i think this looks premium especially if you do put your phone on the table I think this looks a lot more premium than this aramid fiber case right here price wise go for the pitaka but if you want the class the luxury and of course if you do want to use apple's official case definitely go for the leather case do not go for the other cases the silicone case picks up a lot of oil stains a lot of uh, lint and it gets stuck in your pocket so no go for me for the silicone case and the clear case is a piece of crap to be honest, I use the clear case for the iPhone 12 Pro and basically in general, Apple's clear cases are crap. So for the price, if you're talking about first party accessories, hands down, leather case. Alright, so this has been my take on the Apple leather case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this case will be on sale right after this video. So I will leave the link in the description for the carousel page so you can check that out. I would definitely like to hear your opinions uh, if you have ever used the Pitaka case or any third party case that you can compare the iPhone 13 Pro Max official leather case with definitely do drop it in the comments and I'll be very glad to hear your opinions alright so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video